Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. And today we're going to be taking a look at the SAP Learning Hub. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll start from scratch here just to make it easy. We'll take a look at the how to get to the Learning Hub. Now, I've got some shortcuts set up, and I really advocate that you do this and not try to remember these URLs, because part of what's really difficult, you'll notice I've got a whole section here about SAP Business One that I've saved in my favorites here in Chrome. Uh, you can do the same thing in any browser that you choose to, to use. Um, and I've got one called the SAP Learning Hub. Now, you can just search, you know, on the Internet, right? Just put in your browser, search SAP Learning Hub, and you can get here. Uh, and then once you, you know, kind of follow the links, you'll end up at this same basic place. You can see that it's actually quite a long URL, so don't try to remember that. And so um, when you search for it, when you find it, it will take you here. Um, and one of the first things you're going to have to do, you need an SAP S number. Right? They call it an S number in order to log in. If you don't have one, you have the ability to register right here on this home page. And that's really important because it sort of tracks what you do on the Learning Hub based on that login. So if you don't have an S number and a password, go here, start off by registering. And that's really your first step at that point, right? And then once you're registered, you're going to want to find the SAP Business One section, of course. So one of the things that's hard to do is sort of find SAP Business One in this large collection of SAP materials that they've put here. Uh, in case you are wondering, this is actually SAP success factors that they are utilizing themselves. Uh, people think of success factors as HR, and it is, but part of HR is actually training your employees and things like that. So um, SAP has utilized their own software to publish this training material for SAP Business One. The first place that you'll want to kind of check out, uh, really just for your own uh, information, and it depends on if you're multilingual or not, is this page, um, SAP Business One. Right, and you can see uh, that that I went uh, to that, so you could kind of find SAP Business One. Believe me, that's a journey. Uh, so, but it, uh, here I'm demonstrating that.